So my name is Benjamin DeBefor, and I'm an assistant professor at Harvard University in the Center for Brain Science in the Department of Organismic and Evolutionary Biology. And my lab is interested in behavioral diversity. So why it is that some animals behave one way and other animals behave a different way. Conventional biological wisdom is that variation between individuals comes from two different sources. It comes from genetic differences between the individuals and differences in their environments during their growth and upbringing. And we've found that there's sort of a third source of variance which doesn't fit nicely into those two categories. And that has to do with random differences between the individuals um, that can't be explained by either genetic or environmental differences. And to find these differences, in our lab we do a lot of engineering, so we've built a collection of robots, and high throughput assays that allow us to test the behavior of individual flies many at a time for many replications each. And this gives us the statistical power we need to identify behavioral differences between individual flies. We look at a number of behaviors, and one of these is the light response. So if you look at a population of flies, most of them, when they're startled, will go toward light. But you'll find individuals that, when they're startled, they run away from light. The surprising thing is that it can't be explained by any genetic differences between these flies. They're genetically identical. We can control this. We can take two flies that had dark preferences, that ran away from light, and mate them to each other, and look at what their progeny do. They don't run away from the light. They look like the original population. They go toward the light. So it's nothing that can be passed on from one generation to the other. Our best current hypothesis is that you start with an egg, and it has to build through the set of blueprints that are in the genome an adult fly. And there's an inherent randomness to some of these processes. Like as you're building the brain, you're developing a circuit, neurons have to find partners and, and wire to each other. And you could imagine that if one neuron forms three synapses with its partner, but the corresponding neuron that codes the opposite response forms four synapses, that small difference, which could arise randomly, could have a huge behavioral consequence, at least in flies. Now, at this point, we don't know to what extent these processes are happening in people. And we like to think that my personality as a human is something that is inherent to my being, that I can, I can construct a narrative about that goes back to my childhood and to my family. But if the processes that are happening in flies are also happening in people, uh, it could mean that my personality has a lot of randomness that I can't ascribe to any deterministic cause, which is a big surprise and would be mysterious, and we'd like to figure it out. Thank you.